Hello friends, so today in this short video tutorial we are going to explore Unity Catalog Data Access Lifecycle that is whenever user query the data using Databricks SQL cluster or Spark cluster then what all activities sequentially happen in the backend to provide us our required data on that we are going to explore a bit. So the main four players in the data access lifecycle are user or client who is requesting for data then spark cluster or SQL warehouse where we are running our queries we are having unity catalog which handle all data governance related stuffs and then external cloud storage for example if you have integrated your data bricks with AWS then it can be S3 where our managed or external table data is getting stored and we are also having admin which team generally take care of initial setup or granting access etc so whenever user or client try to query some data maybe select query on some table on spark cluster or scale warehouse this cluster is not aware whether the user is authorized to view the data or execute certain transformation that information the unity catalog is having so as a first step whenever user query the data spark cluster reach out to unity catalog to check whether the user is authorized or not so this is step two now initially user might have reached out to admin team for certain data access admin team might have already added the user directly with certain permission to unity catalog or attach the user to a group which group has certain access level so unity catalog first checks whether the user or client is authorized or not to get the data. So here I can write authorization. And if the user is authorized, Unity Catalog reach out to external cloud storage to have a downscope temporary credential for the Spark cluster so that Spark cluster can fetch the data from this cloud storage. Unity Catalog and cloud storage already have the authentication and all set up using IAM. Now once Unity Catalog reach to our external cloud storage, it basically get certain downscope temporary credential. So here request I can give as step 3 and cloud storage return some downscope temporary credential for the spark cluster to query that we can configure as step 4 that temporary credential unity catalog give back to the spark cluster now spark cluster has the credential to query the data it goes to cloud storage where it provide the temporary credential and once authentication is done the cloud storage provide the spark cluster the required data the spark cluster directly don't return the data to user or client if there is any column masking or low level access policy etc configured on that tables spark cluster execute them that can be step 8 post low level access policy or column masking whatever data remaining that data spark cluster basically return to the user or client so this many operation happens in the back end whenever you try to query some data via your databricks spark cluster or sql warehouse 